What's going on guys? Josh from EverydayFBA.com and in today's video, we're gonna open up this mystery bag of DVDs. So, if you saw one of my last sourcing videos, I went out to a movie trading company and sourced CDs and DVDs there, pulled out a ton of potential profit, it was awesome. And on the way out, I grabbed two bags just like this. There's a total of 40 DVDs inside these two bags. So we're gonna see if there's any profit in them at all. What's inside is a complete mystery. It could be all duds, it could be garbage, it could be a ton of profit. We don't know, but we're gonna find out. So I really wanna find some profit here, but if not, hopefully at the very least, there's a couple of DVDs here that I can go ahead and watch and enjoy. <laughs> All right, guys, before we dig into these bad boys and open them up and see what's inside, let's talk a little bit about buy cost first. So the price tag, the price sticker on these mystery bags of DVDs is $12.99. But did I actually pay $12.99 each for these bags? Yes and no. So the way I operate my business is on an average buy cost. So I'll go out and I'll source all day, sometimes all week, and I'll combine all those receipts, all that buy cost, and all those units, and I'll break it down until an average buy cost per unit. That's how I operate. So basically, these two bags right here that have a sticker of $12.99, I actually bought with another large haul, which averaged about $1.65 per unit. This is one unit for $1.65. So essentially, I got 20 DVDs for $1.65. Times that by two and I got 40 DVDs for less than $3.50 buy cost. So there's got to be some profit in here, right? I've got to be able to at least make up that $3.50. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that that's gonna happen, but will there actually be any really hard hitters in here? Because that's what I'm after. I want those profits that are $20, $40, $60. Of course, the higher the profits, the better. So will we find any of that? Let's open them up now. All right, guys, let's crack it open and see what we can do here. We got a little something, something here. So just off the bat, a lot of titles that I have not heard of, but honestly, that's a good thing. The more obscure the title, the more profit it probably has in it. So this is one box. We'll open up this next one. We'll line them all up, see what we got, and then we'll start scanning. All right, guys, so here is everything. Like I said, a lot of obscure titles. Some of them I do recognize, but most of them I do not. Let's start scanning. I'll pull up Scout IQ and I'll show you that now. Let's look for those profits. So you ready for the results, man? We went through, we scanned every single DVD, 40 DVDs. We pulled out the ones with real legitimate profit. And this is what we got. We got two, two DVDs out of 40. They're going to actually make us some real profit, not just like pennies or dimes or nickels. I'm talking about 10, 20, $30. I think there's about $30 potential profit here. So it does make up for the buy cost. It does make up for the purchase, but really was not what I was hoping for. But honestly, the ratio is about right. You scan a ton of media items and you pull out just a couple. Now there was more profitable DVDs here, but they would only make me like 80 cents, a dollar 25, things like that. And I'll go back later and look at the ranks to see if they really are worth sending in. If they sell, fast, I might consider sending in the ones that are going to make me at least a dollar in profit since I already have them here. So can we call this experiment a success? No. So while this did not work out exactly the way I would have liked it to, there was still some profit here. I made my money back, no harm, no foul. And hey, I introduced a little bit of mystery into my Amazon FBA business and I made this video for you guys. So what do you think about that? Would you go out and take some chances like this? Are you gonna take a little bit of risk and introduce a little bit of mystery and a little bit of fun into your Amazon FBA business? Let me know in the comments, guys. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is the website, and hopefully the next video, we'll see some more profits.